Ariel Helwani post-fight at Strikeforce Nashville with the new Strikeforce light heavyweight champion, King Mohamed Lawal. King Mo, how does that sound? Uh, I guess it sounds pretty good, man. You know, I'm happy. You had a lot of critics, a lot of people who said you were too young, too inexperienced, too cocky. What do you say to them now? Yeah, you know. You know, so you know what I want to say to them, like I always say. Uh, F them, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Everyone, I, everyone got critics. I've always been down my whole life, and I just keep on proving them wrong by winning. It's my first world title, man. I tried four years, man, in wrestling. Even I, I tried my whole life in wrestling to get a world title, man, and I finally got one, but it was an MMA. And, you know what I mean? It happened. You're feeling pretty emotional right now. Yeah. This is Destiny. <laughs> Destiny, you feel it's seven professional fights, and you get a world title. Did you think it would come this quickly? I didn't know, man. I just like to thank, like, you know, all my coaches, all my coaches, you know, Coach Mel, Danny, you know, Ryan, Parsons, Dean, you know, Fabricio, Kevin Jackson, you know, David James and John Smith, because they helped me get here, man. It's been a long journey, man, but I finally got here. It's my first world title, man. It's something real. Well, it was a very impressive performance. Uh, you, you, you dominated, uh, you know, at decisively four out of the five rounds. Were you happy with what you accomplished out there in terms of your performance? No, not at all. Because I can't make it easier, but I got, I got lazy a few times, man. I took him for granted because I, I didn't respect the skills all too much because I knew I could beat him. I should have taken him a little more serious. I could have finished him because that was my plan to finish him. I didn't want him to go for five rounds. I wanted, to, I wanted to leave him laying and go sleeping, but he's, just, he's tough, man. He's seasoned. How about the, the, the takedowns? I mean, you were able to take him down at ease. Were you surprised that his takedown defense just, you know, he, he just couldn't, he couldn't stop, you know? You were taking him down at ease. MMA, man. Ain't nobody got good takedown defense, man. People don't know that. But, you know, you hear a good takedown defense, it's a joke. Because you put me against any wrestler, anybody in MMA, I'm going to take him down. You know what I'm saying? There are a few guys like Dan Cormier I struggle with, and even Rashad, because Rashad's athletic, and he knows good based on defense. But for the most part, a lot of guys, they don't got good baseline D, so I could take him down all day. Did he hurt you seriously at any point in the fight? Nah, man, except he, I felt like he hit me with his knuckle in my eye, you know, his thumb in my eye, but he couldn't hurt me, you know, even the kick. So the, I, my coach right here punished me so much, you know, he's beat me up more than anybody, him and my mama and Danny, you know, all my trainers beat me up. And, and that right there, all the, all the punishment I took from them prepared me for this day. Okay, final question, how are you going to celebrate this victory? I got after party at Common at the I'm gonna go just lay down and watch TV. All right, congrats, Mo. Thanks, man.